Oh, hi friends, and welcome back to Lollaby Bridge. It is Christmas time. Ooh, so festive. Oh, I love snowmen. <laughs> All right, well, let's go see what we're doing in the kitchen today. All right, friends, so today we are gonna make Christmas wreaths. But not like those Christmas wreaths. <laughs> That's really hard to say. Christmas wreath, Christmas wreath, Christmas wreath. <laughs> Try saying that 10 times fast. So they're not like these Christmas wreaths because these do not taste good. The ones we're making today are completely edible which means you can eat them and they're really, really tasty. I am so excited. Okay, so first up, ask your grown-up for permission. Check. Let's go ahead and protect our Christmas sweater. Check. Now, let's go wash and dry our hands to make sure to get all those germies off. All right, so our hands are clean and dry, and we've gathered all of our ingredients. So these wreaths that we're making today are really easy and really simple, and the only equipment that we need to use in the kitchen is the microwave. So we are gonna melt our marshmallows, our butter, and our candy melts together in the microwave. So make sure you grab your grown-up and let's get started. All right, did you get your butter, marshmallows, and candy melts melted? Yeah, look at that. Ooh. So this project is a little stickier than it is when we make like Rice Krispie treats or when we made our monsters together for Halloween. Yeah, because this has candy melts in it and candy melts are sugar and sugar is really sticky, isn't it? Yeah, so we're gonna, be, we're gonna wanna be a little bit more careful when we make these today. All right, so this is currently white, but reeds are green. So let's take our food coloring and add it in. And you can use as much or as little as you want. The less you use, the lighter green, your wreaths are gonna be. So I'm gonna use a little bit, well, kind of a lot of it. I don't know, is that a word? <laughs> to see how green we can get them. Okay. And then stir it up. And we're gonna keep on stirring, stir, stir, stir. Ooh, my arm. <laughs> keep stirring, friends. Okay, well, let's go ahead and add a little bit more food coloring to make them darker green. And keep stirring. Ooh, that is green. Okay, it kind of looks like the Grinch, doesn't it? <laughs> it's weird. Okay, so now let's add in, give it another stir. Let's add in our cornflakes, and we're gonna coat the cornflakes in our marshmallow butter candy melt food coloring concoction, okay? And let me tell you something. You are gonna need to use your muscles for this one because it gets kind of hard to stir after a while. I don't know about you, friend, but huh, my heart is sore. Okay, but look, they're nice and stirred in. So I think, ah, uh, give it another stir. Oh my goodness, they're so sticky. Okay, so I think we are ready to go ahead and make our reeds. Let's start assembling our reeds. So the two things you need to make this part of the project is your green gooey mix and some cinnamon candies. 
These are gonna look like holly berries on our leaves. The other thing you're gonna need is some cooking spray because this is really, really, really sticky. So remember how we washed our hands earlier? It's a good thing because they're about to get really messy. So let's spray our fingertips just a little bit. Get them nice and oiled up. And then we're gonna take a bit of our mixture. So the mixture is gonna be a little bit warm still because remember how we melted everything at a really high temperature? So it is a little bit warm, so watch your fingers. So we're gonna take about a ball and we are gonna flatten it out and we're gonna put a hole in the middle because reeds have holes in the middle. So you can just put your finger in there and work it around so it looks like a little circle. Ooh, it's taking shape. All right, what do you think? Do you think that looks like a leaf? Well, I think it does. Yeah, okay, so let's take our cinnamon candies and you can put as many or as few as you want on your wreath. It is totally up to you. So we're gonna just press those in and when our green mixture dries, the candies will stick to it. So we're gonna kinda just put them all along the outside. Whoops, one got away. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside and let's do another one. Yeah, they're really fast to make. So we're gonna grab another ball. Oh, oh, that's a little hot at the bottom. Okay, and we're gonna smoosh it out. And we're gonna put a hole right in the center. What do you think? Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. And then we'll add some candies. So while I'm adding candies, why don't we take a look at what ingredients we used for this kitchen project? Corn flakes, mini marshmallows, butter, candy melts, cinnamon candies, and green food coloring. Wow, these look so cute. Look how adorable they are. And the best thing about these, besides they're really tasty, is that you can make them any size you want. So we have some big giant ones, we have some itty bitty little tiny ones. It's totally up to you. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. And it looks so tasty. You know what? We're gonna wrap these up and we're gonna pass them out to our neighbors as little Christmas treats. Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, I wanna thank all of our friends who have been tagging us on Instagram <laughs> at Lolly Bee Bridge with pictures of the things they've been making in the kitchen. I absolutely love it. And you guys are doing such a great job. So if you make this picture, this picture, no. <laughs> if you make this kitchen project, ask your grown up to snap a picture of it and tag us and put it on Instagram at Lolly Bee Bridge. That way I can continue to follow your progress in the kitchen. I think that sounds like an even better idea. <laughs> All right, friends, well, I have had so much fun making these Christmas wreaths with you today. So I hope I see you again really soon. Bye.